there's just not enough time for a human being to analyze all of that thoroughly, right? They, they fall back on their training, they try to climb out, they did everything they could possibly do to save that airplane, but what they didn't know was that the number three engine on the right side was giving them greatly reduced thrust. You know, it's tough. Patent 303 writes, could this be a similar event to Concorde uh, or something was kicked up into the engine. Yeah, absolutely. It, that's a distinct possibility. Something could have gotten kicked up into the engine. Um, the report will tell us whether it was or not. All right, uh, Uncle John 9547 writes, to me, uh, it is eerily similar to the knife edge crash of United Airlines 232 in Sioux City, Iowa, July 19th, 1989. Although the Sioux City aircraft was a DC-10 version, when the number one engine failed to spool up on short final, the left engine dipped uh, and hit the ground. The video shows significant similarities in the crashes. I don't know much about that crash. I'll have to look into that. Um, that sounds like a good one to maybe fold into the next video that we're going to do comparing uh, United or American Airlines 191 back in 79. Maybe there's something to be gleaned here. So thanks for pointing that out. Um, but uh, I don't know much about that one. Max McDonald 7174 asks, this question how does the engine bust the mounts off during takeoff well there's pylons that attach to the wing so the wing goes here the pylons attach to the wing they're super strong all right uh, and they hold out that big huge engine uh, underneath of them now the pylons are meant for the most part to be stressed for going with the airflow right the airplane's going straight and most of the time with a little bit of variation this way or that way the airplane goes pretty much straight if the airplane gets yaws, and that's the proper term for it, if it yaws too much and the G-forces against the side of the engine increase dramatically, it can, in some instances, cause that pylon to fail. It's very, very rare. It's only happened a few times really in the modern jet era. Uh, it doesn't look in, in this incident that that was a factor. Now, could the pylon have failed? Sure, it could have. But it's most often associated with lateral G's, and it just doesn't look like there's a lateral G thing here. I 